It's Affalito Part 7, and it's live! I've always had to do that. So, Affalito Part 7. Talk to me. Right, let's get started. Premier League Cup. 5 1 win against Carmarthen at the start, and um, then lost some penalties to Lenny. It's the sort of game I didn't really care about. Uh, I'm aiming to win the Premier League Cup in the World Cup on a regular basis. Once we get established and we're the best team in the league, and we start dominating. Once we get to that stage, you know, I'll be going for every season. But right now, I don't really care. Um, I would like to retain the Welsh Cup though, and it's definitely um, more important of the two. The UEFA Cup, the Cronus of Lithuania, we um, we beat them. It's actually a lot more comfortable than it suggests, and um, we got smashed by Skanderbeg of Albania. It's certainly who I've never heard of. I've heard of the Cronus. And I've played a lot of these teams before, but um, it's going to be a new team. To play in front of 11,000, um, a crowd of 11,000 is quite um, impressive. I was quite pleased with that. Um, moving on to the, um, the Premier League. Really good start, which I think is down to a little bit more of a break between the UEFA Cup. Um, as you can see, we didn't play any games for just over three weeks, which um, seemed to do us quite well. So. Might give that a go again next season. A really good win against Banger, 5 2, was the highlight of those. Um, only lost three games all season. One away to Barla, one away to Preston, and one away to TNS. And actually, I didn't realise until just now, but we've not lost at home all season, which bodes well for the future. Um, yeah, this season against the big teams, we've done really well, as you can see. We've beaten Banger at home, beaten Banger away as well, and um, we beat TNS at home. Where's that? Yeah, 4 1, obviously, as I mentioned lost three two away which was quite unlucky to lose. Um we um we had a man I'm not saying off um my left back Jordan Cranston was playing shocking and I brought on my left mid as I thought we might sort of bomb on a little bit but um didn't work. He gave away a penalty and we lost. A bit unfortunate but these things happen. And just scraped a two all draw against Barry Town as well. Um incidentally I noticed that Newtown are back up from last season. They got went down the first season with um, Airbus and Barrytown are back as well and for anyone of you who don't know about Barrytown they're um, the biggest club in Wales by a country mile they've won eight titles they've won four consecutive leagues as you can see in the sort of 90s 2000s era and then they just went to pot they even had um, John Fashionu on board at one point but the the, um, the way the club's run wasn't ideal and now they're just sort of um, in the, the second division, but the division below. So hopefully they can stay up and in real life as well. Apparently they're in the quarter final of the cup. So fingers crossed because they're a great team and they deserve to be in this league. I really hope that they can step up and, and stay in this league because I'd love for them to, to get back to challenging me and TNS and bang our sort of out of it. But if they can get back up, then that'd be great. But um, yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, injuries, we haven't really suffered with injuries. This season, apart from recently, um, James Holmes and Gareth Hamer. Gareth Hamer, probably, even though I've written wise, he's not great. He's probably my second or third best player, I'd say. He, um, him, Gareth, um, sorry, him, Shane Williams, and James Holmes are my best, my best three. They're the sort of three players I always look to play. Um, Kieran Howard is quite good as well, but when in terms of performance in the big games, they're huge. Gareth Hamer missed um, missed a few games through injury. He missed Connie's key TNS and Villanelli, which wasn't ideal. And um, we did it right without him. So we won two and lost to TNS. The other one, excuse me, is um, James Holmes, who's got. Is he popped his hamstring? Yeah, he's torn his hamstring. Um, He's going to be out for another two to three months, so he hasn't played since the real game. So, have we got on about him? You know, we haven't done too badly. Um, defensively, not been great since we left, but um, no, I, I, I was saying to a friend before, I think we can win this um, division before James Holmes and Gareth Hamer got injured, and now that. Holmes is injured. I'm not so sure. Um, big Joe Collett, Collicott has come in, 6'8", striker. He's done quite well, but 
he's not James Holmes. James Holmes can carry this team. He, um, as you can see, he's got more than a goal a game. Or a goal every 90 minutes, I should say. Uh, usually bring him off if he has a good game or control, just to try and protect him. Um, yeah, he's a massive player for this team and he's such a big loss. I'm just trying to think when he'll be back. He'll be back, let's say, two months, so end of March. Fixtures wise. That means, oh, there's a big gap there. Oh, that's huge. So, fingers crossed we'll be having back for the banger game. Banger, come on, I don't know press it to the hand. So, we've got our two biggest games against Banger and TNS at home. I mean, away from home, I think we've settled for the draw on both of them, but if we can um, get him back for the last four, I think that we can win the league. But if we're, I think if we're in contention with four games to go, like we're either one point ahead or we'll, we'll sort of two points behind or in front, then I think we can win the league. But we'll have to see. We've been really, really good this season. We're really progressing. We haven't signed many players again. Um, they just seem to be gelling nicely as a team. David might have brought him end of last season. He's been phenomenal left mid. I was a bit worried about bringing him because um, Alan Marsh was doing a good job. But um, David Martin has provided a lot of quality down the left. Um, you see Esko Mietunen. Um He's on so much money, I don't think I'd get rid of him. He was in the Finland under-19s and... Um, he was willing to talk to me, so I thought, you know, I'm going to give him like a, a monster contract, which 160 quid a week is for us. And um, he signed, so I was ecstatic. But he's only 19. He, he sort of reminds me a bit of like a Shane Williams type player. So um, it's not ideal. And I brought him off the bench a few times. He, he's done okay, but he's not really given me any reason to start him so far. He's sort of been just solid. But um, there we go. Timothy Powell, I've been trying to sign him for ages. He's nothing special, but um, he was in the. What is that? Tonga. Yeah, he was in the youth uh, under 19s, I believe, or under 20 months. And um, I managed to get him eventually. And Gareth Ryan on a non contract. Um, he's got quite a lot of potential, my uh, assistant records, my scout, sorry. So I thought I'd bring him in rather than him being at Port Talbot. Um, released a lot of youth players that were crap. Massive waste of time signing all them, but they didn't cost me any wages, so no worries. And financially, we're in a good position. Um, we do need to start earning a bit more money because over the course of the season we lose about 150 grand I think at the start I think this was about 180 something like that because of the um, the cup run in the UEFA Cup but um, yeah hopefully we can win the league get into the Champions League and then maybe win a tie or two but it all depends on the um, on the draw it really does apart from that yeah the Premier's looking good there's a dis distinct gap between the top and the bottom half. You can, you can clearly tell that. That's not, not being bridged. But, um, fingers crossed for Barry. Pray for Barry. Hashtag pray for Barry. Pray for James Holmes. I hope his hamstring gets better. And, oh, I'll tell you what I will do. I have a little skeg while we're here around the top leagues in Europe. Top four haven't changed much. I see Southampton have, have risen up. My team Newcastle are, are doing a good job, which is good. No manager currently. What's tempting? Oh no, it's not loads, it's not loads. You, as you can see, previous winners. Um, Chelsea and Man City. Interesting. Um, oh, Liverpool in a relegation dogfight. Ooh. That is interesting. Um, France. Don't really follow the French League much. I imagine it's pretty much the same. Nice, I'm not sure they're that good. I think they're more of a UEFA Cup team. And Lorraine as well. Anything in particular? I know Stade de Rennes or um no sorry Stade Rene are in the chat the AUF Cup. Um Leon did four I was only five points though. That's quite a tight league, look at that. From twelfth up to fourth is five points. It's like um League One at the moment in real life. If you need you haven't checked that League One, check it out. There's like um five points from first to seventh, I think. It's unbelievable. Bournemouth for top two games ago. And now they're 7th outside the playoffs. Unbelievable. Leverkusen, Dortmund, Borussia. Borussia and Mockengladbach are 3rd. And Wolfsburg 4th. I see Bayern Munich. But even there, look, 5 points. The 7th. That's crazy. That's, they're going to be some cracking finishes, these leagues. Um, Italy and Serie A. Naples. 
Unbeaten, wow, that's impressive. I think it's a good Juventus side, no less. And Atlanta, Siena, Lazio. If anyone's been playing these games for quite a while, you can see that these three teams are massive teams over the years, and it just shows how they've sort of fallen by the wayside. Um, so it continues to dominate, and I do believe that Rangers are, yeah, three. Well, this will be their third consecutive promotion, unsurprisingly. And my old team, Stranra, who I'm still a big fan of, in a bit of trouble there. Everyone else been promoted? Nah, still the old lot. I'm not sure whether anyone can get promoted to Division 3 in Scotland or 9 on FM. I'm not sure whether it ha anything happens. I think you have to apply or something. If someone can just bottom like five, six times around, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, and last one, Spain, too, either. Barcelona, Real Madrid, Bilbao, Sevilla. Real Mercia. Hmm, interesting. They've made the um, they've made the leap quite well. Athletic Madrid, Valencia, and the tail teams. Not a lot seems to have changed there. Real Madrid are more like three years on the spin. Interesting. Back over there. Ooh. Not a bad reach, is it? Oh, he's not a reach, he's 27. Never heard of the guy. Wow. Got from Michu. Ooh. If anyone's got any um, players, then feel free to ask. Well, now Mitchell's getting on at Swansea. Phenomenal player. 3.5 million. Mm. Who could have predicted it, though, to be fair? Not many. Right, um, thanks for watching. I'm going to leave it there. Any predictions? Give me a shout. I think we're going to win the league, personally. I'm going to stick my leg out and say it. Um, our home form has been good. Our away form has not been as good. But um, I think we've, we've got enough. And if we can just stay there at 8 3 0 winning. 7 one three, it's not bad. If we can just stay intact, I think we can do it. And remember, hashtag pray for Barry. Cheers for watching. See you later.